What's going on, people? Tonight we're covering a man that you can't find a single person on earth that has anything good to say about him. John Apple Porter. Now, if you saw Paid in Full, this was the uncle of Mitch, which is Rich Porter. Now, Apple was a part of the preacher crew. Now, these were some dirty, no good criminals that preyed on the weak. Even the crew would say Apple's a piece of shit. That's how low he set the bar. We're talking about a guy that never had his own. He leeches off the next person. And we're talking about a time period where it was easy to get money. You could get rich from just standing on the strip. Teenagers was getting money, so for him to be in the type of position he was in was sad. He was a part of the preacher crew, which they involved in murder, extortion, and kidnapping. They would target drug dealers on street corners and tell them to leave a certain amount of money in a trash can at a certain time. Now, not only drug dealers, but they allegedly extorted mom and pop shops. Now, with all that being said, it only makes me ask questions like, what did he do to contribute to the crew? He wasn't known for getting any type of money. He doesn't really look like a person of fear. My question is, was he working for Preacher to pay off a debt? He kidnapped his own nephew to try to extort his other nephew, Rich Porter, that was touching money. The type of guy that prey on kids, which Rich Porter was a kid also, he was only 24. Apple was the person that came up with the idea. He came up with the chop finger off and send the tape recording to Rich family. And he was the one that told the rest of the crew that the nephew had to go because he saw their faces. So that means after they received the money, they would have killed the little boy anyway. The little boy died for nothing. I can't see how Apple could do such a thing and then go have a cup of coffee the next morning like nothing happened. With Apple being around the crew, he was just a vulture. He was the type of take a chain or a watch off a dead body, take it to the pawn shop and take whatever he can get for it. He'll go in a dead man's pocket and see if there's cash left. If it's five dollars, that five will be missing. He would have his way with prostitutes and refuse to pay them. A pimp would come looking for him and he would just say he's with Preacher. That's all he used to do is throw Preacher's name around the city of New York. John Apple Porter is not a likable guy. <laughs> He didn't have guns pulled out on him for multiple reasons, but the crew always came and saved him. He tried to have his way with one of the associates' daughter, and you know after that, he wanted him dead with no questions asked. But Preacher and the crew would step in and said they all needed to have a vote. That's how the Preacher crew dealt with people. You could be one vote short of your life, but they all voted him to stay alive. No accountability, especially for that, but it's the Preacher crew we're talking about. The associate's name was Popcorn, by the way. Apple would watch the little girls letting out of school and would openly brag about how he would take advantage of the little girls, calling them the B word. The only time the crew held Apple accountable is when Malik accused them from stealing from the crew. Now, if Apple was a junkie, he was a heroin addict. If he would do something that stupid as stealing from Preacher, you couldn't really put anything past him. He got jumped by the whole crew for his actions, but Preacher kept him in the crew for some reason. With Apple being a junkie, he would blend in and spy on drug dealers and report info back to Preacher. He would always spy on Rich Porter, and Rich hated him. He would always ask Rich for money, and Rich would always hear about the dirt Apple was doing. He would even try to use Rich's name to get out of a situation. He would ask Rich Porter homies that came around for money, and Rich would tell them ahead of time, like, do not give him nothing. Now, he would later do a long prison bid, and when he got there, nobody knew who he was. Because during that time, it wasn't no internet. Paying the fool wasn't out yet. And damn sure it wasn't no YouTube. But while sitting in prison, he went through a crazy heroin withdrawal. He cooperated just like all the others in Preacher Crew. They would murder or sell anyone out just to get to the next level. Or out of any type of situation. But with that being said, that only means one thing. He's out.